nice to see you again. It's Kirsty and Winter B, my service dog, who specializes as a mobility dog and a medical alert dog. Many of you have seen pictures and videos of Winter B, where he's very jolly in his face. You'll see that right now he's wearing his work face. It's a little more concentrated. We have been learning to ride an escalator. Riding an escalator is very risky, has many possible dangers. Not all service dog teams can do it, so please do it only if you are trained and understand the skills and how to protect your dog. I'd like to teach you some of them now. The way we started to learn the escalator was I would just take Windsor over to look at the escalator. And he loves people and he's not really afraid of much of life, but that was one of my problems. I needed to keep him off even though he was willing to take that escalator ride. We need to know how to do it safely. Oh, so, I just let him enjoy watching it a lot. He's going to alert. He's going into alert. Excuse me. feeling because he was getting antsy on my side and starting to cross. He's still not done. He won't leave this position. But I may go in and out of an episode. Well, that was good, Diamond. <laughs> now he's safe. Yeah. Now he's dead. Back. Well, he's still in half mode. I'll let him stay in half mode. <sighs> shoes! Windsor's shoes! These are from roughwear.com. R U F F W E A R dot com. I really like these shoes because they're rubber on the bottom like a person's shoes, nice and thick. It keeps him safe. When we started to learn the escalator, we put these on his feet. I still like to use these on the escalator because I have balance issues and I want to know that he is safe. These protect his feet because, as I said, it's very risky for a service animal to be on an escalator. Not all teams do it. Their nails need to be clipped very short. The hair underneath the paws, on top of the paws, along the arms, or the legs, or the legs, uh, need to be clipped wisely. 